So I'm getting this vibe that somebody feels like they're alone in a crowded room. Or like, yeah, like their husband is known or somebody that they came to the room with is very famous. But this person feels like they've done everything alone or done everything on their own. Somebody could be spiritual or going on a new spiritual journey alone. And they need to readjust the way they see themselves or just the way they uh, the way they interact with other people. I'm getting the sense that somebody feels downtrodden right now. Like almost like someone is, even though they're in this crowded room, they're just like everybody in here is a wax figure or something like nobody in here is real. And it, it might not be true that people are wax figures. It's just the way you see things. And like someone has begun to specialize the way they see things. And just by going within, it's like you're the only one looking from within. And it's just very clear to you uh, that people just don't see themselves. This is a tarot reading. I'm a psychic. In the next few minutes, I'm going to use my intuition to read the energy in the room. The insights I receive are for, for whoever these vibrations resonate with. And there are no time limits on anything in this message. So first, I'm going to start with the current energy, what I'm designing right now, and then I'll take a look at the cards to find out what could to this moment, as well as what can be expected later on. Remember, this is a general reading, so everything might not make sense to everyone listening at once. Take what fits your situation for now and be mindful as different frequencies resurface in various ways. Please don't force what doesn't belong in your life at this point. Okay, allow someone else to hear what they need to hear. Okay, and it shall come to pass. So I feel like there's like this moment of silence that needs to happen or this emptiness, this space where you kind of go in between the room and almost like you were within the space of raindrops and it could be a thunderstorm outside, but you're not getting wet. Is in that space that you're going to manifest whatever it is that you're manifesting or hoping to manifest. I'm seeing a lot of feminine energy here with the Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. And then there's somebody in the center who possibly relies on your ability to control your emotions. With the Lover's card here. I feel like you make this person into a new, a new man. Like you're coming at this person from both angles. This person is surrounded by your love. I also feel like this has to do with this man that's maybe known, well known by the world. Like this man could be very famous, very famous, but once it's just the two of you. He allows you to engulf him with your love and you and you turn him into the man that he is. But nobody knows this. I feel like it's just going on between you two. Okay. It's almost like he prays to you or through you. All of my readings are divinely guided and meant for the purpose of entertainment. In no way should they be taken outside the context of spiritual expression. I am not a doctor or a licensed therapist, nor can I give medical or financial advice. Use your intuition. Use your best judgment when being here. And if you enjoy yourself, then please share something meaningful with someone who needs it. 
Holy Spirit, God, the Son, love, light. Please guide my gift to align with the frequencies of your body. Somebody has a lot of work to do. And it, it, it seems like no matter how much you practice, you're still going to have a lot, to work, a lot of work to do. I'm kind of looking at these pentacles here. Like this is eight of pentacles. We're seeing like it's not really clear whether or not this is what he still has to chisel. Or is this what he has left? Like he's already accomplished so much. And this is something that he'll be able to look back on. But right now he's just focused on what he's working with right now. What he's got to work with. What he has to improve. And I feel like that's what this person is doing now. Like maybe they have it all. Maybe this this person, um, this relationship that you have is just perfect. And there's really, there's nothing that needs to be altered in any way. I just feel like it's just a perfect setup. And both people involved agree, but you are doing some self-reflecting right now. And there's something that you're praying for. Something's been delayed. Maybe somebody just wants friends. Like maybe somebody just wants a social life. Like they don't want to feel like the, they don't want to feel alone. Like the only person in a room. Maybe they just, they wish that they could see somebody that was also looking at them from within making a transition I almost feel like there's a warning like you got king of pentacles here like this could this prayer could lead to some internal conflict like somebody is want wishing that they, that the mirror basically was a friend like they want somebody who just who looks just like them and who's doing exactly what they're doing but ultimately, anything that it does, that's like literally the opposite of what you need right now. Maybe just to look at other people and respect their own journey, even if they're not on your journey. Like they could be boggled down by their own thoughts. Like their own thoughts is a lot to keep up with. To have and to hold only having something, only containing something, or like it's only me. Like they just, maybe they don't feel like they're enough. Oh yeah, or like, you know, you know yourself already and you're just ready to meet somebody new. But also I feel like is like you maybe go back to the message of being alone in a room, being alone in a crowded room. It's like you you feel like you're alone because you're ignoring everybody around you. You you are you actually have plenty of people who want to talk if you want to talk and can have a good day with you. With this sun card here, I feel like you're kind of you're looking for a soulmate right now, like somebody who just gets you, almost like a twin, but this person would have to have their own identity. Like they would have to just naturally want to do what you, what you want to do and not just copying you. Like not a groupie, not somebody who's, who's pretending to be like you just to make you happy in order to get something out of you. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody just wants something real. So there's a lot here about this group. It's almost like a tribe, like a new tribe. But I feel like these people are going to be possessive. So that's why that's probably why it's important to look within and correct or improve yourself rather than the next person, because anybody coming in looking like you or being like you is going to also possess those same traits that you maybe need to work on right now so that by the time you connect with somebody you guys are actually connected on a positive common denominator i'm seeing sodom and gomorrah here like maybe there's some debauchery 
or your enemies just don't have a clear distinction of what's allowed and what isn't allowed. Okay. I'm seeing there's some tribal wars here. Maybe some territory. Somebody's fighting over money. Something about Vikings. I feel like it'll end and settle down. Because it seems like whatever this is that you're wanting is it something you've already had. Maybe somebody's trying to remarry. Somebody wants to remarry. But the the divorce was... Maybe it was... um. It was like something that wasn't completely, not completely established, but like someone didn't exactly go over what the issues were. Like somebody could be just kind of starting up another situation that needs some needs to be thought out first. United the scattered tribes. Maybe somebody feels scattered brained or like whatever the situation is, is like, it's, it's the same case. It's, it's going to be the same case if you were to move to a different place. Like somebody needs to gather their own thoughts before they start to worry about what someone else is thinking. Someone's being defeated within the home or almost like this is, it's, if this is a person who doesn't really have the keys to the castle. Okay. So I'm seeing everlasting love. I feel like this love is coming from within them. Maybe somebody's going to be looking for another wife or looking for a new relationship. But I'm getting this sense that someone wants to settle down and kind of end this fight once and for all. What's this prophecy? A fight? So someone is, maybe there's a fight that's about to break out. Let's find out a little bit more about this energy. I feel like somebody's waiting for a fight. This is a person who is uh, dealing with their own demons. Um, they've got some internal conflict with this. That's what I'm getting from this two of swords. Like... This person that maybe you think is trying to pick a fight with you is um, actually just fighting themselves and you're just aware of it. Yeah, like almost like this person is in a, in, is it alone in a crowded room. This person doesn't connect with anybody. Um, they don't have any friends. They don't have anybody that they can share their feelings with. So they're picking up on. Okay, so I feel like this is this is due to positive energy, almost feminine energy. So it's like someone has feminine energy and someone is mixed up as to who they are gender wise. I'm seeing masculine feminine, but it could also just be that this person is in touch with their masculine feminine. So this person could just not like themselves, not like the fact that they're a woman or that they're a man or just unhappy about that side of themselves. It's almost like they're hermaphrodite. Maybe they, their whole family is like this, like it's just part of their genes to be really rough. 
um, they're really hard on themselves as well. So they don't even recognize when they're being hard on others or hard on the environment. Um, they run through the ground. Like they run their energy into the ground. They, uh, they burn out really quickly. They run out of steam. And so let this person fight themselves almost like, uh, What's his name? The the boxer, Muhammad Ali. Like just kind of run circles around this person. They they move really slowly when it, in terms of building an argument and yeah, it's just not something you really need to get tangled up in. If this is a this is a person who is not connecting. People people avoid this person intentionally because they are clingy and they and they do start trouble. So you don't have to be the only one in the world that befriends this person. If you don't want to be this first this person's friend, it's like you and the rest of the world. I feel like the only people that they can really rely on are their doctors, maybe like a therapist or somebody, or a family member who has who is getting paid to take care of them. Maybe a daughter, somebody who gets some type of uh, funding or finances from health insurance or something to take care of this person. So on the other hand, you have this positive feminine energy that needs to be nurtured and tended to and catered to. And um, that's probably the only reason why you're sensitive to this person's pain. So that's what I'm getting. Like maybe this reading was for somebody who wants to be your friend and it's like somebody um, is just not ready for it. They got a lot of work to do in themselves and a lot of demons they're fighting that ultimately that they're going to try and get you to fight for them but it's just it's impossible to, to do that they have to be willing to accept that they have problems this could be a daughter 